Alrighty. Uh, welcome back to Planescape Torment. Or not Planescape Torment. Uh, Torment Ties the Number. Or Numerera. Or whatever. Numenera. Probably say Number for quite some time and stuff. Um. So let's All go right. back. Let's go in back to our bodies. And see what's happening. Where did she fall from? Her body smashed to talk. It's a wonder she's still breathing. All I saw was the corona, not her origin point. But look, she's healing already. Spontaneous regeneration. What was that? Oh, I guess to say, uh, Allergan. Allergan? Allergan? Allergan, that's how you, that, that, you're Allie now. This is Allie. Uh, what was that? What'd you do, Kaliste? His tone becomes accusatory. Uh, the first thing you notice is this man's kaleidoscope of tattoos, uh, writhing across his forearms. He wears a long, dark coat belted at the waist, uh, supplies filling his pockets. His boots are worn and stained with years of travel. You blame me? She made she emitted an eternal physiological reaction in response to the fall, probably related to the fantastic healing process. Obviously, Alaren. Her voice rolls and hisses. You have to rub your eyes to make sure you're not seeing double. Faint echoes of her actions trail from her, each nearly mimicking her. Although some act and react to stimuli you can't perceive, her vivid hair and outrageous clothing remain constant through the, through these shadows. That would explain what's going on here, I guess. Oh, yes, it's obviously Castige. Uh, his voice is grim and clipped. Then he sees you looking at him. You're no ordinary mortal. We know that much. Start talking. His face is hard set. Uh, oh, this is what the scan thoughts does. Uh, she's a, the changeling god. Uh, Cast Castige is deliberately blinding herself. But why? Uh, was I was I dead? You fell at an incredible distance, yet here you are talking. Do you really not? You don't know, do you? I'm starting to think you're not her. Alarigan's being more paranoid than usual. How much? How long must I push to put up with him? And then Allergan, it's her face. I've never seen any other people rebuild themselves like that. Only the changing god could have healed so quickly. He sighs and rubs his face, regaining his composure. Maybe you could help me after for a change. You know what this is, what this means to me. You're familiar with the word changing, Alarian. It implies inconsistency. Thus, the changing god we may have well, well changed. Several versions of her shrug, and then, then she addresses you. You have to forgive him. He belittle, he believes you, you're someone he once knew, even though it's painfully obvious to anyone that you're newly born. Uh, her most solid self curtsies while others bow or and or spin. I and my sisters am Castige, and this is Alaren. We are explorers, knowledge seekers. This is how we came to be in this room. And if I am not mistaken, you are what we call a cast off. The changing god created you, body and mind. Your sire used your body for a time, and then abandoned it for reasons of his own. When his mind departed for a new experience, you were born in his cast-off shell. Uh, so you say I was born when the changing god left, but why am I not dead? I used a cipher to slow your fall further, but the damage still would have killed an ordinary person. But think about it. If you're the kind of person who can make your body into anything you want, what do you do? You've constructed bodies for centuries. You want to make each one better than the last. You want to live forever. But you're not going to let your life end by accident. No, you make bodies. Just make strong bodies, fast and powerful. Maybe throw in your generation, your generation while you're at it. The changing guy has always been vain. He rarely stays long in a show that doesn't suit his self-image. Uh, perhaps the changing god fled because he didn't want to wear those scars of yours. 
Uh, what was that energy blast when I woke? As I was telling my colleague, it is obviously a physiological reaction of some kind. I've never witnessed the birth of a cast-off, but yes, it could very well have been caused by your nascent consciousness. Don't worry, I don't believe it caused any real harm. Not to me, at least. Alarigan, uh, really? You've been more abrasive than ever since we came in here. She just can't empathize with other people, unless she's experimenting on them. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Are you sure that surge didn't hurt you? Alarigan, if it did, it was damaged in our minds. Though now that you check, if it cracked her, I couldn't say. It's tough to find norm normalcy there. Normalcy there? Sorry. And this is because kind of Thege. At least we don't. We know it didn't hurt Elargan. That skull's thick as organic stone. Uh, if the changing god abandoned my body, where is he now? If, if he abandoned your body, then his consciousness fled to another. He eyes you keenly. And this is Calistige. Oh, stop. If there's one thing we know about the changing god, dear, is that he's always had a contingency. This child was born here. The object of your session will have, to re will have been reborn somewhere else. Uh, okay. I guess we're talking about tides now. Uh, I've heard of them, heard that term before. Your, your subject stu studied your sire, or su a subject your su bleh, a subject your stu your sire studied in great depth. I'm afraid it isn't my field of inquiry. Uh, okay, I guess that's it. Alrighty. Where are we? Where is this place? A sanctum of yours. The common belief is that he had several such places throughout the Ninth World. Possibly other worlds as well. You were only just able to gain entry into this one because of your grand entrance. Um... As she speaks, a vision flashes in your mind. It's not yours, exactly. Somehow, you know it's a memory of the changing gods. You're in a dark room, lit by a myriad of blinking lights and holograms from the many machines surrounding you. What about a body that can withstand the sorrow's attacks, says a voice. It seems to be coming from one of the machines. No, you reply. That thing has no respect for barriers of any kind. Physical, temporal, psychic, this is the only way. Uh, with a series of gestures, you're bringing up an image of a crystalline pod. If the resonance chamber works, it'll give us the power to stop the sorrows hunt once, when, once and for all. We just need to ride the fight, right focal point, a catalyst. The memory fades. Calisthenia is talking, and you realize that the device you saw in the memory is identical to one that is behind you now. It looks just like the spectrum I described it, a transparent sarcophagus inside a crystalline dome, with mechanical arms arrayed around it on a metal ring. Unfortunately, the dome is shattered and the sarcophagus is cracked, and one of the arms is in pieces on the floor. Whatever its function, it clearly needs repair. Um, do either of you know anything about the sorrow? I've had my share of sorrows, but, not, but never the sorrow. What's that? A disease? Uh, I know nothing about it, is what she says. Alright, do either, do either of you know how to fix the crystal chamber there? Alarian chuckles. Not likely, though it may not be impossible. You need people with the appropriate knowledge. I'm sure the cult of the changing god will hold the answer. Castige. Uh... You turn the in, in, you turn to the teen same to help a newborn. Where's your judgment, Alarian? I will take her to the order of truth. Are you mad? They would sooner take us apart. Alrighty. All right, I'll ask. Why not? What's the order of truth? 
And Calistige says, Knowledge seekers, the learned who try to wrest secrets from the hearts of the prior worlds, they gather in the city to exchange their findings and help humanity build a brighter future. Our fair and Alarian here was once one of them. Frauds, cracks, layers, and charlatans. They don't have all the answers. They don't trust them with changing God's secrets. You're just angry because they couldn't help you with that help you with yours. I am being too cruel, dear Larry. Let's take our new friend to the order. Uh. Blah. Hmm. So then, what's the cult of the changing god? Despite what she says, they're not, they're not insane, they're eccentrics. I'm going to try to do voices, but I don't do voices very well, so, you know, whatever. Uh, the worshippers of, well, you're, you and your, you are, or your sire, the changing god, they devote their lives to understanding your kind. Uh, Alright, I still have time. Let's stop. Thank you for your help. I'll figure this, figure this out on my own. Hold on. I'll come with you. We wouldn't want you getting lost now, would we? As suspicious as always, Alarin. Child, the worst is the world is, is an exciting place, but it is full of dangers. Rest assured, one of us will guide you safely to where you need to be. I'll be right behind you. I shudder to think what Alarin might do to the child, what she says in her mind. Uh. Uh, okay, I, but a more important question. Uh, why do you want to go with me? What's in it for you? I won't deny that you are an exciting find, but it's not about that. I just want to see you safely out of the reef. And Scan's thoughts says, who knows what secrets this child could help me find, if I can help her live long enough. Kid, you're not safe there, just because you're new. Treasure hunters trawl the reef, scavengers who'd sell you for parts of the new where you came from, what you were. And... If she's not changing God, she needs my help. And if she is... Uh, Alright, let's go. Gain your first companions. The Alpha Agalas cast off and can, can be controlled during a crisis. You speak to them about the past, and take advantage of the unique abilities and skills. Companions have their own motives and personalities. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Take this opportunity to explore your surroundings. You may find items and equipment. And more to assist you when you're ready. You can leave the broken dome using the stairs to the northeast. Yay. I'm going. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Examine the housing. A sharp point of the apprentice that forms the top of the top of the device appears burnt out and useless. The burnt equipment in, in the base remains at least somewhat operational, as the constant stream of, of sizzling motes can attest. Uh Lower machinery, quick fingers. Attempt to scavenge where you can from the arms housing. Okay, if so that's like a companion's port from the effort window, they can assist with the last cast off with some challenges. Your companion stat pools are used instead of your own, and they may have different skills, abilities, and statistics that make challenges easier. Companions can assist in a crisis, can only use their stats during their turn. I use 80. Why not? Taking care to avoid the sparks, you strike several handfuls of shiny trinkets and coin-like objects. You recognize their value at once. Such objects would be accepted as shins. The informal currency in most regions of the world. So you gather them up and take them with you. Okay, leave the device alone. Uh, at some point, I fall through the ragged hole in the roof and I'm in the shadow residence chamber. It is hard to believe that you did this, that you plummeted through the curve of the pale blue sky, crashed the dome, and broke the delicate machine with your own body. It is hard, even harder to believe you're still alive. Alright, four mechanical arms hung over the center of the device. Pardon me, above the cracks in my transparent crystals are under the sarcophagus. Pardon me, Frack. I'm trying to drink it and talk at the same time. The fifth arm lies broken on the floor among the scattered synth and crystal shards. 
In the middle rings runs the array dented and broken by your impact crater. Let's just let's just look at everything real quick. Oh, so that's what an anamesis is. Anamesis. I'm not too entirely sure what that word is. I don't think that's an actual word, but it might be. But anyway, a memory steals over you, and it isn't yours. Sunlight falls through the unbroken dome, casting short angular shadows behind its the surveyors, laboring to construct the device you and your assistant have designed. Their efficiency is perfect, after all. You designed them as well. The like components are nearly in place, ready for a bounding. The platform in focus for focusing and five injectors, one for each tide. It is a moment before you realize memory has faded and you've spoken aloud. I still don't know what I still don't know what tides are though. Okay. I'm drinking coffee, by the way. Um, Done. let's go over here now. All right. Uh, a slate back, unimpressive device hunkers before you. As you reach out to touch it, the triangle of lights in this casting of blessed life, and an image unfurls in your mind. A towering crystal arch rises above a jagged gray landscape. The arch is dead and stifling, and there it's at its emerald peak. Command me, the device, or intelligence within it says, each word carefully etched with, with, with distaste. Uh, who are you? Your command was not understood, the intelligence says with clear satisfaction, sounding for all the world like it understood the question, but it's choosing not to answer. Command me. What commands do you recognize? Three of the lights throb irritably, heated air sighs from the device's vents, and then a towering list of commands races through your mind, far too fast to read. You rub your eyes, groaning, as the intelligence chlorophylls. Uh, command me, it says smugly. Uh, show me that list of commands again, slower, please. If anything, the list pours through your mind even faster than the last time. Command me, the intelligence draws. Uh, show me the list of commands again, slower, please. Examine the outside of the, of the device. An indignant hum rises from the intelligence engines as you examine its ancient casing. Nothing looks out of the ordinary. You just take a step back and the hum fades. Uh, show me that arch again. The device's triangle of lights drop in time with the glow of the engines within its casing and the mental image unfolds once more. Uh, you see a huge crystalline arch on a jagged field. The arch is divided into rectangular cells, all of which are numbered, and they appear to be transparent and empty, except the arch's pinnacle. Its cell lies in a brilliant pulsating emerald. Emerald, a number zero is printed on that side. Uh, anima, ana, I'm gonna say it's Anamasius.
Uh, the memory blossoms. You stand before the arch, eyeing your last few active cells in the once impregnable loom vow. Unleash cell 29, you say, and a twisted artifact appears before you. You claim it with a faint smile, watching the light fade from the cell far above. You flinch from the memory, and it falls apart as you rise. Your eyes to the arch as it is now. Cell 29 is dark. Only cell 0 remains. Um, examine the jagged wasteland. Uh, dry grit swirls across the empty plain. Many kilometers below is the arch. Below the arch is a faint outline of what seems to be a broken tower, except that it is slowly stretching into the gray air. Uh, examine the image of the arch. You release your mental hold on the image of the arch and it collapses, returning you to reality. Command me, the intelligence says sulkily. Okay, why not? Unleash the contents of cell zero. You found a cipher. Ciphers are numera objects that can trigger a powerful effect that can only be used once. Ciphers and your cipher limit score are displayed in the special section of your inventory screen. Take care as to not accumulate more ciphers than your cipher limit or you will experience unpleasant side effects. I have no idea what that even what that even means. Uh, the device lights flutter with incandescent shock, then focus on you, flickering. Cell zero will now be unleashed, the intelligence spits. Please be advised that other objects you are about to receive are completely safe. Oh, please be advised that the object you are now, you are now about to receive is completely safe. Use no caution whatsoever. The strange contents of cell zero materialize before you. Warning, all cells are now vacant. Shuttering Lung Vow, the intelligent lights wink out, one by one. Interesting that a cast-off can command the changing God's machines. How did you do that? Castige rolls her eyes at Elarion, then she looks at you. He'll never stop gnawing on this bone, you know. The truth is wasted on him. Though I'm curious, how did you do that? I remembered something. I knew it, Alarian says, biting a savage, triumphant grin at Calistige. Meaningless, Alarian. She clearly has basic skills and knowledge from the changing god that have been in her body. Who should say there aren't even more specific memories locked inside there? Uh, she's, then she thinks, how many memories might this child have access to? I must know. I'm kind of done with you. Uh, let's see. Yes. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, that appears to be it. Okay, it is time for me to go get ready for work and stuff, so I shall have to stop this here. Thank you all for watching, and I shall see you in the next, in the next video. So this is going to be SR Blind Playthrough of uh, Torment Ties of Numera. Numenera, I think that's how you pronounce it, Numenera. Um, I actually read, just a side note, I've actually read some of the reviews for this, like people have been playing it and stuff, and uh, uh, I don't understand why, apparently like one of the main problems is that um, they released this as a beta, but I didn't play the beta because I just kind of like wanted to wait, wait. I just kind of like waited for them to actually release the game because I backed it like everyone else did. But Backers had the ability to download it and stuff as a, as a beta. I didn't do that. Uh, apparently, they cut a lot of content out because they just never they just couldn't get it finished or can get it can whatever for whatever reason. And apparently, the uh, numerous is actually frack off. Um, Apparently, uh, they actually had a problem with uh, getting, like, apparently they're not, they, you know, on Numera is actually like a rule set by Monty Cook that you can actually use for, like, role-playing and stuff, like, like a D&D. 
and apparently cut like a lot of the actual rules to the game out and just use like a more basic really a really basic type of rule set for the for this video game and I'm going like well I never actually played either the beta or this so a lot of the actual complaints are kind of like lost on me maybe but uh, that's what the majority of the complaints I've read were actually about and whatnot but yeah anyway I'm gonna I'm done playing this right now I'm going to have to actually like go to work and stuff but yeah anyway just like have fun I'll, I'll see you in the next video